What's up, Trad Nation? This is Breaking Trad. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Breaking Trad. I'm Alan. And I'm Matt. I'm Amanda. And I'm Brittany. And uh, and, uh, so how are you? Uh, Everybody good today? We good? Excited? Ready to go? Happy to be here? Sure. We're a little icky. A little (laughs) icky? A little icky, yeah. Oh, you don't have to talk about hygiene. I'm just saying. No. We're flat. (laughs) We have flat ew. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has. Everybody's been a little under the weather. For some reason, as soon as we got back from... Tennessee, which is going to be a whole nother episode, so hang in there and be ready for that one, but um, ended up with a little sinus congestion. I had sinus congestion. You guys went to Texas. First night, Amanda got there, had sinus congestion. Thank you, Mother Nature. Right, yeah, exactly. It's terrible. <laughs> I haven't heard nothing about you until today, though. It kind of hit me late. Oh, yeah. Um, Like, I woke up this morning. Yesterday afternoon, I started feeling, eh. <laughs> then I woke up this morning, and I was like, hmm. Right. And Matt, you're on the front end of this stuff now, right? No, I'm getting we, sick again. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> it's not It's not anything but sinus infection, trust me. Uh, just real quick, I want to kind of touch base on a few things, yeah? Uh, reminder, everyone who's listening right now to the podcast, press pause, take two seconds, swap over to YouTube. Find the app. The yes, app. Find, swap over to the YouTube app. Find Break and Trad Podcast on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps out a lot, and it's going to uh, it's going to make things easier in the long run for, to have all platforms, even for you. You you won't have to worry about where to find us. You just click one, and then here we are. You know what I mean? Right, and if you want to see a pretty face, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure, man, whatever. <laughs> uh, no. Um, so... Uh, so here in Alabama, we have a home club, one that we're very proud of, and it is called ASTB. The long, long of that is uh, Alabama Society of Traditional Bowmen. We, um, uh, we're we expecting our first shoot of the year in the next couple weeks, and with that being said, I'm going to introduce our guest. We've got the president of ASTB, Benny Argo, and vice president, John Scott. How are you guys doing? Doing good. You doing? Hey, all right. All right. <laughs> Got you guys in loud and clear, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess Amanda's going to kick us off here. All right. Um, so I know, uh, can you tell me how long um, y'all have been president and vice president? How long have y'all been um, in those positions? I guess Go ahead, Benny. I was going to say about, what, five, six months? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, are, we are the new... President, vice president. That's yeah, right. that's, that's what yeah. I thought. <laughs> so they are our newly elected um, president and vice president right. for the club. Um, so <laughs> how long, um, can you tell me how long ASTB has been a club and do you know how it got started? Uh, I history? do. Yeah, um, ASTB got started by a group of guys who just wanted to, to uh, further traditional bow hunting and it back in 1989. Oh. Matter of fact, one of our current members, uh, Mike Gamachi, was one of the one of the found, find it founding members yeah. of that group. Okay. So, and he's, he's also the past president, two, yes. two-time past president. Right? Yeah, <laughs> two times. So, so, so we've been we've been around since 1989. Okay, awesome. I've, yeah, I've only I've only been part of the club since um, 2008 or 2009. I'd have to I'd have to go back and look. Been been. Do you know Do you know how we ended up um, going to Briarfield or how Briarfield became our home base? Yeah, um, it, <laughs> it's kind of a long story, but basically we had uh, too much going on at, at Tannehill with conflicting schedules with other clubs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we we looked up uh, Briarfield and talked to them, and they were more than happy to accommodate us because like, they're they're not a heavily used uh, park, but they're a well used park. So, right. and they pretty much give us the rule of roost on our shoot weekends, which is four times a year. So, right, we've just hung with them ever since. <laughs> it's a, it's, they've got a great setup there too like it's perfect for the shoots i think i mean uh, plenty and plenty of room yeah uh perf- great camping you got camping you got bathhouse primitive and 
uh, electrical hookups and everything. All the little cabins and yeah. houses. That's, that's really right. neat. That's right. It's a neat place to stay. Yeah, you'll, you'll want to get your name in quick for the cap. The cap so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A year in advance, from what I understand. Look, so yeah. them up fast. <laughs> Plus, you got a bonus, Benny and John's there. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I was talking to the park manager the other day, and she said, yep, yeah, we're booked up for all the sheets. <laughs> well, that's oh, good. Wow. So they, that's a good sign, though. You don't want to not oh, be yeah. hooked up. <laughs> but they've got camper hookups, so, you know, you can fit a good bit of people in there. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they also have good tent camping as well. Yeah. So. Well, so uh, every year, ACB holds the Children's Hospital Benefit Shoot. I think it's really incredible that uh, we have a shoot, you know, dedicated to donating money to such a terrific cause. So you tell us a little bit... Uh, about what takes place at this event? I can jump in there if you want me to, John. Come, sure, go ahead. Come on with it. Yeah, all the money that's raised on that shoot, which is in April, all that money is donated directly to Children's Hospital. So and it goes to help, you know, children with bills and stuff in the hospital. And from what I understand, since they've been doing the um, children's shoot, mm -hmm. they've raised a little bit over $200,000. Oh wow. wow, that's so, awesome. That's a lot. I, I, that's a that's a lot of money, but you know, it's it's a great it's a great charity. Um uh, and you're helping out kids that really need it. Well, you got a, there's a lot of people there who are just gung ho about trying to 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 help. You know, you why don't you tell us about the um the auction that takes place after on a Saturday night there? The auction is is great. I like participating in auctions anyway, but uh, we have uh, companies, individuals who donate uh, bows, items, uh, even down to brownies. Yeah. And they're all auctioned there, off. There's some famous and, brownies there. Yeah, Julius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Julius. That's right. That's right. What, what's the most they've gone for? Like 60, 70 bucks, 80 bucks one time? I think so, they, yeah. They've hey. been up there. <laughs> what's so cool about that is the people who are willing just to pay whatever it takes just, you know, because they know that money is going to the children's hospital. And, right. yeah. and if you're ever there and you get a chance to bid on some of Myrna's pecan bars. Come on with it. The, yeah, go go for those too. The brownies are good. but those, that, that, that is a pecan, slice of heaven right there. Those pecan yeah. bars or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, but you said, you know, you got guys who are uh, donate bows and then... You've got certain knickknacks and things like that. Uh, what was the one thing? John builds a lot of uh, we, a lot of stuff. He built uh, like a what is it that goes on top of a barn? Help us out here, Benny. What uh, is that uh, called? The wind. Well, you know, we we found we got yeah. we got some incredibly talented craftsmen in our in our group. Really? We got knife maker knife makers, leather workers, mm -hmm. bow builders. Um, you know, we got Northern Miss Bows puts out a, gives oh, yeah. us a bow just about every year. Right. Right. Um, Actually, the Bear Factory gives us a bow just about every year for the last couple right. of years. Mm -hmm. um, and numerous others. Um, Usually some kids' like bows. Said, kids' bows out Oh, there. yes. Many kid bows go through there, and, and the kids is lovely. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, and that's kind of where we got to start from, too, is we got to keep the young kids coming out. Because they're, they're, kind of, yeah. they're kind of our future. Old guys oh, like me, nice. you know, we're going <laughs> to shoot another 10, 12 years. We'll go, we'll go from there. <laughs> Right. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> but um, so like, I know you guys gave us a round number and all, but w w can you tell us kind of what we raised on the last go? Do you have an idea of what we what we brought in on the last go? The last one, it was just a little over six thousand wow. dollars on, on the last yeah last year. Yeah, that's awesome. So, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of that, like like Benny alluded to, we got people who are just digging deep in their pockets paying way more than some of these items may be worth absolutely but they know what they know where it's going to right and so that so so they're not you know they're not afraid to spend a little extra cash yeah so it's kind of nice that's what yeah. makes it fun yeah <laughs> and we say every time every time it's a testament to the individuals in the sport or that that carry on the sport of traditional archery as far as wanting to pay 150 bucks for some pecan what'd you call them 
They're pecan bars. Pecan bars. Pecan bars. <laughs> you say pecan? Do you just say pecan? <laughs> he, he do. <laughs> I think I think uh, if you're a northern or a southern. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think you pecan say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's so I guess that's the next thing. It's either pecan or pecan. What is it? it's pe- it's pecan. Pecan. Yeah. All pecan. Day. pecan. <laughs> and you're not, like you. I think you created a whole nother version of the word. It's like either pecan or pecan. <laughs> He said you econ. Econ. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all me. That's what happens when you're when your daddy's from Michigan and your mom's from Arkansas. No, it was uh, right. Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky. <laughs> I guess so. I was, they call me a Yankabilly for like ever. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome to the club. I'm a displaced northerner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness! Rock long southerner. What can I say? <laughs> Same here. I was just raised up in, and I, I mean, I don't know. I think, oh yeah, either way, I don't. I was born in <laughs> Boaz, Alabama, and ended up being here my whole life. But my pops from Michigan, and then they were back and forth and all that. It's not soda, or is it even soda here? Do we just say Coke? It's Coke. Coke. Yeah, everything's Coke. Coke. It's Coke. <laughs> so, every everything like above Tennessee, it's like pop. Pop. And by the way, that's a free plug, <clears throat> Coca Cola. <laughs> Get in on the next one for some extra cash. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you hit my Brittany mouse. Brittany lost. <laughs> you hit my mouse. Are you with us, Britt? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess. Then um, this is the moment we've all been waiting for with the state champ- championship coming up. Tell us what we can expect. Um, I know you've got a lot of things planned that are going to go on all throughout the weekend. So um, give us a little bit of insight there. We, you know, we changed the format last year. Um, so we're, we're more of a, of a uh, uh, traditional championship now. Yeah. Okay. So there'll be two qualifying rounds this Saturday. Um, you can complete them both in one day if you want, or whatever, however you want to do it. And then we'll we'll, we'll arrange everybody by, by their rankings on Sunday and go out and do a shotgun start mm-hmm. during the actual championship. Okay. <clears throat> but in addition to that, we know we're, we also have uh, like a top ten shoot off on Saturday, yeah. and we're going to have the Sadie Hawkins shoot on Saturday. Okay, go um, uh, go in, give us a little detail on that Sadie Hawkins. How does that how does that go about? Well, Sadie Hawkins is pretty much, I don't know if you've ever seen the, the old movie about it, but Sadie Hawkins stuff, but uh, the women sign up that want to shoot, and then we get all the guys we can get on the roster, and it'd be the woman in charge. She, she draws the names out of a you know out of a hat, or basically, to right. build her team, and she builds her team, and then they go out there, and, they, and each member shoots, shoots the same target, Yeah. and then they move down. There'll be five targets, Okay. and each team shoots all five targets, and their conglomerate score is... Is how we pick the winner. We've got a we've got a Sadie Hawkins winner in our presence right now. I believe you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she she had a stacked team. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I, say, I believe I believe Charles and James might have carried me through that one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, so go on. You uh, you were about to say something else before I so rudely interrupted. What else you got there? Uh, there's also, uh, we also started, uh, was it last year, the year before we started doing the Ironman uh-huh. and pe- people just rave about the Ironman, even though it's a frustrating, <laughs> frustrating <laughs> I've, lo- I've lost a two. Frustrating, yeah. Yeah. I've lost, <laughs> I've lost a couple of them, but if you don't know what it is, you get one arrow, one bow, and there's 10 targets. And if you're really lucky, you come back with that arrow. Right. Or half yeah. of and it. Or if you're half unlucky, of it. you come back with and the thing, yeah, the thing about that. Arrow. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. The thing about that shoot is, as long as you can safely shoot the arrow, and that key there is safely. Mm-hmm. As long as you safely shoot the arrow, you can you can keep shooting. I mean, you could if all the feathers get ripped off of it and the, the tips bent, cockeyed. It doesn't matter as long as you can safely shoot at the target. I got you. Just throwing it so, out there, I came back with a completely intact. Arrow. No, no throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Yeah. So what John's saying is, bring a junk arrow. 
Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and they they did a really good job last time of um, camouflaging what? those. Like it took us like a was, couple of them. It took us forever to even be able to find where it was. Like, where like the target was hidden. <laughs> you barely see it poking out somewhere. I thought you were fixing to say camouflaging the arrow after the release because I spent. <laughs> you did a great <laughs> job. You did a great job on that. Yeah. I spent forty five minutes looking for those arrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a diehard there. He doesn't want to go up on a course. No, 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 no. We weren't ready to give up yet. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't find the one at the fence either. I'm like, are we supposed to shoot the fence? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're that's talking great. about the monkey. Yeah, 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 the monkey the monkey. yeah. yeah that's, that's the monkey. He's a killer. <laughs> we love it. I think uh, the last time, well, not this last time, but year previous, we went through there and I ended up with, uh, had a 33 inch arrow. And w walked out of there with like a 15 inch arrow, but I finished the course. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good. No feathers, nothing. Yep. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> wow. So, uh, are you guys, are we going to have the dot shoot this year? That's really fun for me. I really enjoy that part. Yep. Tremendous. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a short talker. <laughs> no, go ahead, Benny. <laughs> I think also we're going to have the joke shoot as well. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Okay. So yeah, right. you forgot about that. Yeah. I did. That's gonna be a good too. I just shoot. we got to bring more junk arrows, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. they don't. And when it goes through, it don't rip our fletching off. But that's awesome. Uh, There's some video yeah. of uh, you and I, or no, you and John John, me and John shooting the jug shoot. Matt and Amanda. I shot against Matt. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. And then Kimmy and maybe Kimmy and you, or Kimmy and John. I don't remember. I don't know. We got paired up a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> it just so happened that we all wound up paired up against each other. I don't know. I love it though. I love all the extra fun stuff. I'm yeah. the, like, that's my favorite part. <laughs> well, go into detail on that dot shoot and uh, let's talk about the dot and the jug shoot. So everybody kind of has an idea of how that benefits <laughs> not only them as an individual, but the club as well. Okay. Well, the, on the dot shoot, um, you, you put in some cash in the box and give you extra little shots. Mm -hmm. um, as, I think it seems like a dollar shot, something like that. Dollar, right. Yeah. And, and you, if you shoot a bit of, I call it a big orange dot, <laughs> a right. big orange dot with the target. Right. If you hit it, you put your name in the box. Okay. And then you're, you're, all the names go in the box. And you actually quite a few. That's how, I mean, we, we usually end up with quite a, quite a shooting. Right. And a lot, um, if you hit it, you, you come in the later on, you do the dot shoot to see who's, uh, who's going to be the best shot overall. Uh -huh. And I actually got, actually, one guy surprised me last year. He talked to me and says, I don't think that dot's as big as the one you had before. Uh, so that's <laughs> kind of the point. That's kind of the point. The dot does get smaller <laughs> and a little yeah. further, and a little further away. It's like two inches yeah. in diameter yeah. when you're slinging them on the first go when you're paying the money, and then it goes to about an inch in diameter yeah. and about twenty. Exactly. Yards. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's two inch dot and a one inch dot. Okay. It, it's the best when we have to like you bring out the ruler, right. start measuring. That's yeah. That's good. <laughs> and then everybody's in anticipation of yeah. the pavilion sitting there going, "Who got it?" I know. Who I usually it? have my phone like zoomed in trying to see. Who's closer? Oh yeah, we we've had guys lose by less than a sixteenth of an inch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, it's heartbreaking to tell them that because you know that somebody else is going to be five inches away and, and going to win their round. You know. Yep. So. <laughs> and then you, you never know what to. I mean, that's traditional archery though. You really never know what you're going to get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hope for that's the best. That's a true <laughs> So it's like a tournament style then, yeah. So as the names, as they you should get them, the person who wins goes back into the bucket, and then they just play down until the end, right? That's correct. That's you may have to, you may have to, depending on how many people qualify, you may have to shoot 10, 10, 12 times right, right. to get to, to get to the end. So, uh, so then what happens once the last person shot and there's a winner, what happens then? Then it's, then it's a 50, 50 pot. All those who qualified the money they use that they put in to qualify, mm -hmm. they get, they get half of the pot and, and the, the club gets the other half. See, that's, and cool, like, too. like, like Benny was saying on the, now on the, uh, uh, children's shoot, mm -hmm. We'll probably have it then also. Right. That half goes to the children. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. On the other shoots, that half goes to the club. We use that for buying new targets, sometimes get targets repaired, mm -hmm. uh, upgrading facilities, that kind of stuff. Of course. Okay. So. Well, uh, um, and go on. Go. I'm sorry, you got something? Oh, no. I was just going to um, – I hate to go backwards, but on the uh, actual – the championship shoot, so I know it's going to be like – it's a tournament style with a shotgun start, but it's going to be um, two different courses, correct, that have 20 targets each, right? You'll have – That's correct. Like yes, the, correct. The, yep. The, 
the uh, qualifications are two different courses. Yeah. Now, what's going to happen is when the scorecards come in and we pick the top, mm-hmm. those who are going to compete the next day, they're going to compete on the course that came with the lowest overall scores. Yeah. Okay. Just just so, so that people can pre- prepare themselves. Whatever the toughest course is, that's where we're returning the championship. Okay. Oh, I got you. Got it. All right. And then um, oh, I had another question, too, and it just <laughs> slipped my mind. Well, th- think about it. I'm going to get them to explain this jug shoot. Okay, first. good for it. <laughs> so uh, that jug shoot, t- tell us a little bit about that. You want to handle that one, Benny? I can take that one. Come on. We we had two members who built like a T and it has pulleys on either end and has a rope that runs through it and they hang two gallon jugs full of water on either side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have two shooters that hop up there and whoever can empty the jug first is the winner. And so it's just pretty much like the dot shoot. They just keep progressing until we have a winner of that jug shoot. (laughs) So that, that's that's not shooting the drug. Or that's shooting the drug, not drinking the drugs. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is how you look at it, John. Right. <laughs> uh, well, if there's any other explanation needed, I'm going to go back through and find that video of Brittany and John John um, shooting. I don't. I can't remember if I got the one of you and Matt shooting or not. I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to throw it up on the um, the uh, the Facebook page. See, so everybody can I feel like see. the thing about jug shoots is there's a strategy behind it. But of course, I'm not going to reveal that. <laughs> yeah, it's right. my strategy. Yeah. Y'all can't have it. <laughs> I've seen the strategy <laughs> last year. I know what it is already. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got you to gotta think about it's very strategic placement right. of arrows. Right. <laughs> exactly. Just, and also your arrows too. Yeah, that and um, the poundage of bow makes a difference <laughs> because definitely I'm over here shooting, oh, yeah. I'm shooting 30 pounds and mine were not doing what I was hoping they would do. And then Charles Jackson going through it. <laughs> yeah. Mine were just oh, getting yeah. stuck in the middle of it. <laughs> well, it's, well, that's why they call it. That's why you got to come to full draw. Yeah. Right. You really have to pull all <laughs> yeah. the way back. <laughs> well, I really love, I really love these shoots. I, I, I love ASTB as a whole, as far as a club goes. I mean, to me, like I, I'm proud to be a member, I, I and I'm sure I can speak for everybody else to be a member of the uh, Alabama Society of Traditional Bowmen. Mm-hmm, definitely, uh, but um, you guys, you guys are on Facebook, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what is that? Is it just ASTB uh, Facebook dot com ASTB? Uh, actually, I think it's the whole name. Um, yeah, I, I think it's out. Yeah, it's the whole name. Okay, so Facebook dot com Alabama Society of Traditional Bowmen. Yep. All right, and then we got a website too, right? Yes, and it's yes, ASTB dot, dot club or dot net. ASTB dot club or dot net, and you can That's find information about the shoots there. As far I mean, I did a little research before the show and just kind of went through, making sure I wasn't missing anything. And it's pretty well informed. You can get a lot of, a lot of good information mm-hmm. there. Yeah, right. Right now we're in the process of uh, uh, rewriting the uh, the web page. Okay. Um, so for now, the old ones are out there, but we're developing a new one, and, and it'll come out here. Awesome. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Yeah. So you yeah. got you guys been listening to the show, any? Yeah, yeah. actually, I, um, when Benny told me about you guys, I went out and started playing some of the, some of your past podcasts. Okay. okay cool. cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I got I got a kick out of a lot of the banner. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, guys, you guys got anything else? You, you know, I have one other thing. Uh, you know, this year. I'd ask talk to John about it. Mm-hmm. And my wife and I, we coach a, a small uh, NASP team, and that's a uh, National Archery School program. Right, right. Uh, so what I've done is I've invited out a few kids to come shoot and try. They're going to use their little 20-pound compound bow. Yeah. And just to try out, and I want them to see what archery is all about oh, awesome. instead oh, of yeah. standing in a gym just shooting at a round target. Right. Yeah. So, well, that's really cool. I, I think they'll love it because the outdoor, like indoor and outdoor shooting, are completely different to me. I I struggle with indoor shooting, so I bet I bet they'll be a lot better than I am because <laughs> indoor shooting, there's no trees. I'm doing terrible. And this has been a conversation <laughs> like that repeats between all of us. It's like, well, how, I'm I'm good. I, I can hit a dot, but then when the trees are around, I can't hit or. I got to have the trees around to hit. Yeah. It's like, you got to have that. Depth, you know? That's great though. I can't wait to see all the kids out there. That'll be, they'll enjoy it. When are they coming in on Friday? On a Friday. Yes. Okay, okay. cool. Are you giving like archery lessons during that too? 
<laughs> you know, uh, I hope we can. Well, if you need it bad enough, come on out. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'll get in there with the kids because with the way I've been shooting, I need some lessons. Uh, <laughs> so, what time is everything getting kicked off on Friday? Uh, Fridays, we'll open the, the, the uh, office about seven, seven thirty. I think it's seven o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Does uh, do you guys? I'm speaking to you guys too, Benny and Scott or John. Sorry, John Scott. But that's uh, right. <laughs> I, I'm called both. It's fine. <laughs> understood, understood. <laughs> but do you guys have the address for Briarfield? Yes. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's on the flyer. I, have, I think well, we got it. Is no, it right there? Just kidding. It's not here. It's not here. Well, but it's at Briarfield. Briarfield State Park and <laughs> yes. it's Montevallo, right? No. Mm, cool. uh, look at us like like we should know where this thing is <laughs> i know we drive through montevallo it's to get on, there on um you can find it on any it's on program. old furnace road i'm just <laughs> yeah, trying to old the furnace address. road i'm yeah. looking now hang on Brittany's looking for us but the the park is really great like the briarfield state park it was an old ironworks facility and um it has like an old furnace sitting there, and then you got pavilion locations. You got it, Britt? Yeah, it's 240 Furnace Parkway, Briarfield, Alabama, yeah. 35035. So don't wait until Friday to come out. Right, If you're listening, you, you should be there Thursday night <laughs> and help set a, help us set the course up. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to set the course up, you better be there at 8 in the morning on oh. Thursday. <laughs> oh, eight, oh. That's right. So if you want to help, 8 a.m. Thursday. 8 there you go. <laughs> hey, but please, yeah. um, like, Feel free to come to our home club and uh, shoot your butts off, I guess. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean and uh, memberships, like tell us about memberships. Like how much does it cost to become a membership? I know there's a lifetime and then there's a one year and a five year and things like two, that. Two, I think I got the two year, maybe three. three. Who knows? Honestly, I'm not sure <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Every year I've done that. I signed up for one year. I think it's like twenty bucks a year, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know. And so you count that up. That's one shoot, right? Yeah. Uh, for somebody to just you know, walk around and shoot, but yeah. And family. I mean, if you're looking for your, something for your family to do and you want to get your kids outside, right? Archery is the best thing I can think of right now. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, we got, um, and y'all do family rates too for the right. weekend. So, what, like, yes, we do. Single, yes, we do. Single shooters, what, 30, and a family uh, rate is going to be 50. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it's 50 or 55. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, you right got 50, it's 50 for members and 55 for non members. Okay. Right. That's yeah, so, is, you yeah. got, you got that, um, the variations between for like a single. So, like, if you're a member, you get a discount. What's the, what's the going rate for non members? And I think you get a $5 discount for each sheet. Like, every time it doesn't matter right. what you're doing, okay. you're doing, um, $5 less if you've, um, which is really good deal, especially if you go ahead and sign up and you're there every shoot, it, it works out pretty good. Right. Um, but I was also going to add too. So like, if you don't like camping, which I mean, I don't know who doesn't like camping. <laughs> They're out there. Trust me. <laughs> um, they, all, they have, um, hotel access. That's not too terribly far away. Yeah. So if you want to come stay the weekend and you don't want to camp or you don't want to bring your RV down, you can stay off the exit at there. Get a whole bunch of hotels real yeah, close. Right there, right before the yeah. Barfield exit. So something for everybody, yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah, most most of those hotels put you within fifteen minutes of the of the shoot. Yeah. So not too you're right. pretty close. Right. We've had to do that once before, and then we yeah. stay with them half the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've stayed we've stayed in the hotel when it's going to be real, real rainy and cold. And I oh I that's what I was gonna say. I really like the change of moving the state shoot from <laughs> August to March. Cause boo that August heat. <laughs> oh yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a, it's a killer. I, I gotta I gotta kind of be honest with that one. The reason we did that was not so much to for the shooters. But the setup crew, yeah. Right. When you're putting out two to three times as many targets, yeah, it's a lot of work because you got to remember we got we got to hand carry most of the targets in there, and, right. and most of them are not light. Yeah. <laughs> so, Pull and by out. the time we get done shooting up, we were literally ready to go back to the campers and just crash. <laughs> yeah. So, y'all didn't want yeah. that twelve o'clock quit time. Y'all wanted that eight a.m. quick time so you could be done and out of there. <laughs> yeah, it's a you lot. You got it exactly. Oh, wow. That's also why we start early because even even on a cool day. By the time you carry, uh, like in this course, this will be uh, 50, 55, plus a, plus pack, uh, plus uh, practice, probably about 65 targets we put out. That's a lot. So, yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. So, 
Well, guys, I I appreciate you guys coming on the show. No problem. Absolutely. You guys enjoy yeah. yourselves? Yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> if I'm talking hunting and archery, I'm I'm happy. All yeah, right. We're All good. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I think did we cover everything that y'all wanted to cover? Is there anything else y'all want to mention? Or do we do? No, good? just come ready to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure. you know, come come with an open mind, you know, to have fun. Yes. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. We have some pretty serious shooters out there. And cool. um, and 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 they're they're you know, they're pretty good. But me, I just like to have fun. So right. oh, yeah. Well, you should say, come with whatever you want, just come. <laughs> exactly, <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs> but you know us, we're the ones that are out there, you know, my kids are wallering in the mud and the water. Addie, I feel like Addie's <laughs> grown up there. <laughs> yeah. Come on, that's good for them. Right. <laughs> she yeah, has grown up there. So. So. I would like to add, add one little thing uh, yeah, for those please. who are not, not familiar with our with our setup. <clears throat> we are strict, strictly traditional. Yes. Uh, but a lot of people have not, you know, got the newer, newer rigs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they're fine. They can come. But if you, if you've got stabilizers and balancers on them and, and raised, um, uh, shelves, raised uh, shelves and sights and stuff like that, you can still bring the bow. You just have to take that stuff off. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, once you get down to the bare bow and, and what I found, we've had a couple of shooters come and didn't, didn't know that when they got there. Mm -hmm. And we, we told them, well, just take stuff off, go over to the practice range for a half hour and, You'll be shooting just as well as you would at them. Right. You know? Yeah. And yeah. most of them, most of them actually enjoy it because now they're, you know, they're relying on instinct, which yeah. is basically what we do. So right. of course. Full time trad. That's what so. we're pushing for. <laughs> there you have it. All right, Benny, John, I appreciate you coming on the show. I really hope that you guys had a good time. We I know I enjoyed it. I'm sure everybody else yeah, did. Yeah, thank y'all. We're excited uh, for the shoot too. Yeah. I mean, I'm we are, yeah. We're only what we appreciate the invite. Well, we're yes. By the time this show air, uh, by the time our show airs, we're what three days out? Two, two, two one. Days. It'll be next one, day. Next, we'll be. Yeah, it'll be next day. We'll oh yeah, we'll, we'll be, be coming up on Thursday night. I think. Yeah, week after week after next. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody who's listening is making plans uh, to be there tomorrow. I'm going to say tomorrow. It's weird for me because you know we're two weeks out or whatever, and mm -hmm. trying to figure out the days and time. <laughs> but uh, but if you are, we breaking trad hook crew and Benny and John, we all hope to see you there, man. But uh, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, guys. We'll, well be we'll be the guys to bright yellow shirts. So just come look right. us up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, also like again, real quick, if you if you get an opportunity, check out astb dot com um, or dot club or dot net. Get on Facebook, check out astb, yep. and uh, you can get a lot of information there. And you you'll find our flyer on their flyer on the Breaking Trad page as well. That's so right. we'll, we'll That's make sure right. we post that again. But uh, but other than that, I guess we'll cut we'll cut it there, uh, Benny guys. I thanks. You're welcome. Welcome. All right. All right. Bye, Bye, guys. And now it's time for the part of the show where we tell you about the upcoming shoots. The first one is going to be the ASTB shoot, um, the state championship shoot that we just talked about here on the show. Um, it's a qualifier competition round. It's $30. It's 40 3D targets, two rounds of 20. Qualifier on Saturday evening. Championship round of 20 targets on Sunday. Your binoculars are allowed, but no range finders. Um, and this is a traditional only shoot. So come on out. I'm sure you heard about all the fun that we're going to be having there. We'd love to have you. All right. And then this is going to be the first leg of the BHA trail shoots, March thir uh, 12th and 13th. Uh, first cards out at 8 a.m. Last cards um, out by 2 p.m. For both days. Um, that one's going to be at the Heritage Archery Range, and it's located between Hansville and Coleman. Um, you can find all that information on the Bow Hunters of Alabama Facebook page. All right, also that weekend or this weekend is the Reinhardt 100. It's located at Banks County Archery Team, um, 211 Hudson Valley Drive in Homer, Georgia. Friday registration opens at noon. It closes at 7. All ranges close at dusk. Saturday range um, or registration opens at 7 a.m., closes at 5. Sunday, 7 a.m., and awards will be at 3. All right, next one um, is going to be our friends at Buck Hollow Bow Hunters. They are going to be host, uh, hosting an open shoot on March 12th. It's just a one day shoot. I think that means uh, so compound and traditional shooters are welcome at that one. All right, and also on March 12th, it's going to be the fun shoot um, in co or competition in 
at Kentucky Traditional Bow Hunters Association, located at 250 White Lane, Mercer County Fish and Game Farm. It's five miles west of Harrodsburg, Kentucky, on Highway 68. All right. Um, let's see. I think we're going to go to the next weekend. It's going to be a Twin Oaks open shoot held on Saturday, March 19th. That one is going to be located at the Twin Oaks. Bow Hunters, um, 1079 Ashley Road, Chapmansboro, Tennessee. So that'll that's an awesome place to go. So y'all go check it out. And Sunday, March 13th, 8 to 3, Whitetail Bow Hunters Traditional Shoot located at Whitetail Bow Hunters in um, Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad you got that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got uh, Mississippi Archery Association um, at the Hillbilly Archery Shoot. It's going to be located at Hillbilly Archery. That one's uh, in Conchata. Y'all don't make, be mad at me. Conchata, Mississippi. <laughs> Shot, shotgun start at 10 a.m., $30 entry fee. Um, and then it kind of goes down. They've got it stair-stepped. We'll make sure we post that flyer so you know how much um, it's going to cost you. Um, yep, yeah, that one's on March 19th. All right. Also, March 19th, you've got the BHA Central Zone Shoot located in Talladega County on Highway 77 across from the Kudzu RV Park and Campground. All right. Next up, North Florida archers are starting a working man shoot March 15th and will continue it every Tuesday night through March 30th. So if you need something to do during the weekday, uh, they got you covered. <laughs> So uh, that's all the shoots that we've got for the next couple weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. So we think. Yeah, and they just keep. Crossed. They keep coming in. They keep rolling. <laughs> There's in. a lot of them. So, but yeah. anything else, you can always find it on our Facebook page. As always, we share those. Lives. You know what I wish? Tell me. I wish we could go to every single one of them. Well, I know there's so goals, right. There's so <laughs> many that are going to be the 11th, 12th, 13th. Like. Right. Yeah. And but um, well, so. There was uh, there was something else. Oh my goodness! I, it escaped me. You said you wish you could go somewhere else. Go to all of them. Yes. And then, ah, anyways, sorry, <laughs> I forget. Maybe I you're forget. gonna say me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. Oh, real quick, real quick. If like we've got a we've got a blank date. That's this is what I was thinking of. We got a blank date, the twenty sixth, twenty sixth and twenty seventh. Oh yeah, we need some shoots. So for I, that I know that they're like we have a calendar full of shoots all the way up until September. Mm -hmm. For some reason, we I don't know. Is anybody having a shoot on the twenty sixth? Maybe in Louisiana or you know Arkansas or or any other state Illinois. she hasn't been to yet. <laughs> I say, this is Indiana. She's listing her places she wants to go. She ain't been to. Um, yeah, please. If you if you've got a shoot on the twenty sixth and or the twenty seventh or the the 25th through the 27th whatever mm -hmm. it is let us know because uh we're, we'll we'll put it on the podcast we'll make sure everybody gets to hear everybody who's listening now they'll know where it's at then they can tell their friends if they have an opportunity to go or whatever you know mm -hmm. uh and one more thing i want to touch on um so we have a large listening group mm -hmm. um i mean here recently our downloads and all have like increased exponentially mm -hmm. which is awesome thank I agree. you guys yes, thank, thank you, thank you absolutely and We'll we're gonna do a recap episode in a couple couple weeks, mm -hmm. so we're gonna we're gonna touch on all that, like touch on all everybody we met and everything else. Um, but if we, if anybody out there who's listening does t shirts, hats, <laughs> apparel, <laughs> <laughs> let us know because we are in search for an apparel vendor or not vendor, no, but, not well, vendor, but not vendor. distributor. Um, we're looking for someone who can do embroidery, essentially. Essentially. Yeah. yeah. Maybe or some screen printing. Screen print, yeah. Just hit us up. And screen printing, right. not or. Right. Yeah. And yeah. remember to pull up the YouTube app. Uh-huh. And, uh, make sure it's the YouTube app, because for some reason, when you go to YouTube.com, you can't, you have to log in and all that. So make sure you pull up the YouTube app and, uh, go ahead and subscribe, you know, like, uh, our videos and also slap that notification bell so you get notifications every slap time we post it. a video. And, slap it. Wait, I'm going to do it. Slap. slap. <laughs> yes. Slap. Yep. And we're going to put, uh, we need to put a graphic up on our video where it's just like you doing that. Like, slap. <laughs> this was it me. Was yeah. it this? <laughs> yeah. Ding. Just slap it. Slap it. Give it a little slap a <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Sandler in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a little slap. Just give it a little slap, slap, slap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it, everybody. So uh, thanks for coming and listening to us not make any sense <laughs> and make sense. But uh, <laughs> who's, whose turn is it? It's yours. yours. It's not my turn. <laughs> it is your turn. Come on, Alan. Let's see you do it. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it in a really special way. Well, no, I can't. All right, Matt, roll that outro. <laughs> Guys, we're glad you could join us for this week's episode of Breaking Trad. We hope you had as much fun as we did. You can catch the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. You can contact us at BreakingTradPodcast at gmail.com or on Facebook at BreakingTradAL and on Instagram at Breaking underscore Trad. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and follow us. That way you'll get notifications every time we drop a new episode. Join us next week and remember, make every shot count.